Hi guys, this is Delores Studios. You're welcome to another episode of Android Programming. Uh, we're still on the Android Observable Scroll View. And in this tutorial, we'll be talking about the view pager type tap scroll view, you know, just like the tap strip. Okay, we're talking about the, the tap scroll and also we'll be looking at the UI widget from the Google sample, whereby we have the sliding tab layout incorporated in it. I'll be moving straight to Android Studio uh, development environment for this project. Uh, we'll be talking about uh, the source files uh, in details. Uh, first of all, pick up the Gradle scripts uh, whereby I have the build Gradle project session and the module app session. Uh, for the module app, we still maintain our uh, dependencies, the observable scroll view, and the nine old Androids library uh, where they support design and also the support app components. Uh, for our build Gradle project session, we still maintain the class part build Gradle 1.5.0. Uh, definitely, we have higher class parts, you know. But uh, at the time of recording, this is the class part I used. All right, I'll be moving straight to the rest. Uh, the layout files. Let's know the included layout files uh, in this particular uh, page tab scroll. Uh, we'll be talking about the activity view page tab. And also, we have the padding. You know, we've, we've been used with the padding. And also, I'll be talking about the tab indicator. Okay, that's the two uh, XMLs that are just quite different from the previous source files. First of all, let's pick up the activity view page tab. Uh, there's a frame layout with the layout with the night match parent. And also, we have a frame layout right inside the, inside the another frame layout. Play layout where the padding for view pager must be set outside the view pager itself because with padding edge effect of view pager become strange okay uh there's another padding top called 48 dp we gave it 48 dp and we have the android support version 4 view pager okay that's very important where we have to close the frame layout right inside the outer frame layout we have a linear layout where we assign an ID to it called header. Uh, for these are uh, pages, we assign pages to it. The orientation is vertical. And also, we have the Android support version 7 widget toolbar, uh, where we call on, where we have an ID called toolbar. And also, we call on the app pop up theme. Afterwards, we included uh, the Google Samples UI it's from the Google Samples. I have it in the source files, where we have the sliding tab layout library to pick up. No, there's a Java class called Sliding Tab Layout. We'll get to talk about that. Uh, we assign an ID to it called Sliding Tabs. I uh, will close up the linear layout, the corresponding linear layout here, and also the frame layout on top. Let's get to see the design view of this uh, XML file. Okay. Uh, afterwards, we'll be picking on the tab indicator. I think it's taking a little while. Okay, that has been initialized. Okay, this is the design view where we have the the space for the text, and over here will be for the tabs. Now we're here to get there. That's why we'll be talking about that in the logic of the application. Okay, let's get to quickly look at the tab indicator XML. Uh, it's a text view. Uh, with a padding right, left, uh, all 16 dps, and also the text color is calling from the color folder or the directory where we have the tab text color XML and the text size is 14 sp. All right, that's fine. Uh, we'll be looking at uh, the Java classes. I would like to expand these a little bit so that we'll be able to see it very clearly. If you notice, we have two packages here. The first package is the Delaware Studios view pager tab scroll view. Why the other package is from Google Sample Apps iOS. No, that's the UI widget from Google. Okay, we'll be looking at both packages. In this first package, we still maintain some activities. They're about the base activity. Uh, there's new one, which is the base fragment. And with the main activity, we maintain that. Uh, also, we maintain the simple error recycler adapter. Likewise, the simple recycler adapter, but we have something new here. The view pager tab scroll view activity and the view pager tab scroll view fragment. Okay, uh, let's look at the pager tab scroll activity uh, where we imported uh, the fragment state 
page adapter from the observable scroll view library also the observable scroll view scroll view callbacks the scroll states the scroll utilities the sliding tab layout from the google samples the view helper and also the view property animator from the nine old androids okay we have a class where that extends the base activity we all know what the base activity is and implements the observable scroll view callbacks where we created five fields m elder view m toolbar view m base translation y m pager and m page adapter we set the layout to activity page type okay uh, where we need to instantiate the fields created with their corresponding ids and now we need to call on the sliding tab layout uh, class where we created an object from it uh, we get its id from the sliding tabs okay we set the custom tab view we set the selected indicator colors uh, we set the distribute m evenly and also set the pager you know based on the m pager or uh, attributes when the page is selected, other fragments scroll Y should be adjusted according to the toolbar status. Okay, that's when we have to call on the set on page change listener to the sliding tab layout object. Okay, passing in the view pager and the on view pager on page change listener. You know, there, there must be a listener to the change of the page. So on page scroll, you're going to have the init uh, integer I, which is the counter and the float. Okay, on page selected to there's going to be a propagate toolbar state while on page state on page scroll state change uh we'll pick up the the uh index okay we still maintain our on scroll changed you should know you should be familiar with that by now the same thing goes for our on down motion event and on up or cancel motion event uh that's still being maintained uh we have the get current fragment okay now we need to get the current fragment is like uh it's like a page in, a, in, in an activity you know when we need to scroll we're trying to look at another page but it's quite not another activity anyway it's a new fragment okay that's where we get the item at the end page and we get the current item based on the scroll now we have the propagate toolbar state which are uh, we call on to uh okay all right let's let's move on uh we have the on propagate toolbar state where we set the scroll Y for the fragments that are not created yet. All right. And we have a for loop to loop through those, uh, the part to get us the particular one uh, in question. And also we call on the scroll view, observable scroll view to it. Okay. We have the navigation uh, adapter. Also the show toolbar. Okay. Uh, we, we have the eye, the corresponding eye toolbar ones that is a show toolbar that should be an eye. Okay. And also, we have the class called navigation adapter that extends the catch fragment state page adapter. This is where we call on the string titles of the uh, page adapter, which is uh, for the bars, where we have the string apple pie, butter cookie, uh, cupcake, donuts, eclair, and so on. You know, these are going to be for each tab. You know? Okay, we have the M scroll wire. The navigation adapter that call on the fragment manager and also the set scroll while okay uh we have a fragment that creates each item uh which check for the m scroll view which are uh, as a counter of zero that if zero is less than or equals to the value of the m scroll while the bundle is going to be passed uh into it where you're going to put into it with a view page at top scroll tab scroll view fragment okay we get to have the get count uh, method and also get page title okay that's fine uh let's look at the the view page at tab scroll fragments that's a fragment for each uh tab scroll uh we imported the necessary uh library which is the observable scroll view also we have the fragment that extends the base fragment that's what brought about the base fragment uh, we set up the string, okay? And we have the onCreate method that passes in the inflator, the container, and the saved body bundle instance state. Okay, this is when we call on the observable scroll view as a finer. We created an object from it called scroll view. And uh, we also set the parent activity. So if the parent activity is an instance of the observable scroll view callbacks, 
uh, the bundle is going to be passed appropriately. So they scroll to the specified offset after layout. Why the touch interception view group should be a parent view other than the view pager. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's look at uh, the base fragment. Um, I won't be talking much about it. It's the base fragment that extends the fragment with an array list generic, where we, whereby it gets the dummy data. This is where the dummy data is the, for the particular fragment. Okay, yeah, you can get to uh, two pieces for each uh, fragment. Okay, this is where we get the current uh, the screen height. We set the dummy data. Whereby we set the dummy data header, and also uh this is basically where we set the dummy data that's the lauren ipsion uh, text where we get from the string okay all right um what about let's look at uh, the manifest where we need to add up the activity of this particular tab scroll view okay this is very important just like you have been explaining earlier on signing out the activity uh, the second activity after the launcher activity, which is the main activity. All right, I'll be uploading the source files to my GitHub account, and also I'll be showing this in the Android emulator. So stay tuned. Here we go with the application. Okay, uh, there's our view pager. Let me take a step backwards. Okay, I have the view pager tab scroll as the header, title header, and also as a list. The view pager tab scroll view activity. I click on this, we take us to this uh, ensuing activity where we get to have our tab scroll, the apple pie, and also the fragments for each one. The butter cookie, the cupcake, the donuts. You get to uh, uh, work on this uh, fragment right in the base fragments class. Okay. All right. Uh, I click on this, we switch uh, to the other fragments, you know. Click on this, switch to other fragments, still in the same activity. All right, you're just creating a fragment. You're creating fragments from one activity. So you can decide to create more, multiple fragments as well. All right, uh, a donut. Okay, the eclair, the fryo, the gingerbread, honeycombs, and so on. Okay, you can get to extend the source files, you know, incorporate it in your application get uh the view the most details on how to use uh the page tab scroll you know and how to create uh and how to inflate the fragment out of it you know so once you get that uh really good you know you can get to develop cool applications that will look like the google play mobile app and also applications that will mimic the ui of whatsapp and we, we have great applications that actually use this particular UI, the view page, your tab scroll effect. Thank you very, very much for hanging out with me throughout this session. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.